Stoprite products are sold in aerosol around the world. In many years working with our customers and professional installation consultants, we've learned that there can be problems with the product in dispensing or spraying the paint. To prevent those problems, you need to shake the can. The can has a marble in it and you want to hear that marble rattle. When you hear the marble rattle, you know that you've started to agitate the product that's in the can. Agitating the product in the can thoroughly will prevent problems such as clogging or spitting. You have a tip that the spray comes from. That tip is what we call an actuator that actually opens a valve to feed the product from the can up the draw tube to that tip. The way that that product is fed up that draw tube is by pressure of a gas product that's at the top of the, the can. We do recommend that you have safety glasses. I'm going to deconstruct this can just to show you those components that we saw in the picture. We'll remove the cap and what we have is the actuator or the tip. You remove that tip from the top of the can. You want to be careful to make sure the tip or orifice is pointed away from you and then you remove the tip by pulling it from the valve. The valve system includes a draw tube that reaches down inside the can to grab the product. Inside the can to agitate the product in order to stir it up, mix up the solids with the solvent, there's a marble. Inside the can are actually a mixture of liquid, gas, and solids. Among the solids in the can is the pigment, and in many of our stove bright high temp paints, there's also metallic flake. The metallic flake and pigment literally are heavier than the other products that are in the can, and they will tend to settle to the bottom of the can. That's why we recommend that you shake the can thoroughly for at least 90 seconds to mix these solids, the pigments and the metallic flake, so that they can flow easily to the tip. We want to talk about now why a tip might spit or might get clogged and how you can remedy that problem. Remembering that you want to wear your safety glasses when handling the aerosol, handling the aerosol products, we want to show you now some ways to, that indicate problems with the paint in the can. The very first and simplest thing that you can do is actually take the can between your thumb and forefinger and squeeze. If the can gives, such as an empty pop can, then you know there's no gas pressure in that can. Our demonstration can I want to show you now one of the issues with, with clogging or spitting has to do with what happens in the draw tube. The solid products that we looked at earlier can sometimes coagulate or stick on the inside of the draw tube. The draw tube is quite slick so it doesn't want to do that but sometimes a chunk can get stuck and that can cause uneven flow. That uneven flow can cause a spitting action at the tip. To prevent that problem what we have is another tip we can use to help us clear that draw tube. And what I'm going to show you now is the difference between the regular tip that's on this valve and a clear out tip. To clear the draw tube, we want to use our clear out tip. The clear out tip has a large orifice that will allow product that is coagulated, solid product, to escape from the draw tube. A regular tip has a very small orifice and those solid products cannot pass through that very small opening. So when you look at the two tips side by side, you'll notice that the, the green clear out tip has a very large opening and the regular spray tip that aerates the product has a very small or tight opening. The process to clear out the draw tube is several steps and these steps involve how the chemistry works in the can and how you can drive that plug or that clog from that draw tube out through the large clear out tip. The first thing you're going to do is remove the cap and again wearing your safety glasses you want to be careful and carefully remove the tip that's on there that's that black tip with the red inserted at the very small hole. You're going to then replace that tip, and I like to make sure that I have the, the orifice, the hole, pointing away from me, and I'm going to carefully insert that into the can so that I have the tip ready to use. 
Now, what I want to do is I want to shake this can thoroughly. It's very important that I agitate the product so that I have a really good mixture and also so that I can get this product to dispense in a way that it's supposed to dispense. So I'm going to shake the product, I'm going to hear the rattle of that marble, and I'm going to continue shaking for 90 seconds to 2 minutes to completely agitate the product. Once we've shaken the can thoroughly, what we're going to do is try to maybe expand those gases a little bit to add a little pressure to help us drive out that clog or that solid piece that's causing us a problem. To do that, one of the easiest things you can do is get a small saucepan and fill it with hot tap water. You're looking for tap water at a temperature of about 105 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. In that range, what will happen is the metal can will conduct that heat and expand the gases in the can, causing more pressure which will give us a way for us to drive that solid piece out of the draw tube. Once we've heated the can, we then can remove it from the water. And again, I would recommend shaking the can for probably another 20 or 30 seconds to help make sure that it's completely agitated. And then what you're going to do is find yourself an area where you can work with a two foot or three foot square piece of cardboard and actually dispense the product. What's going to happen is the pressure and the fluid of the paint is going to drive that solid piece out the large opening that's in the clear out tube, clearing out the draw tube and clearing out that solid right through the tip. There's a trick now that will help you reuse this tip in the future, but also help you have confidence that you in fact have a clear draw tube when you replace the tip. And that is taking the can after spraying it, turning it upside down. What happens is the solid products move down the can and the gases move up here towards the bottom, which is now the top. And you're going to use that pressure and that clean gas to clear out the draw tube and the tip so that you'll spray for a few seconds and it will come out clear. And when it comes out clear, you stop spraying and you now know you have a clear draw tube and a clear tip. And then what you're going to do is remove that green clear out tip, replace that tip with a black tip that has the small red insert and again trying to make sure you have it pointed away from you and now you have product that should be ready to dispense. The other issue that you can run into is that that product that is in the draw tube drives all the way up to the top of the can and actually gets lodged in behind the tip itself or in the bottom of the tip. That, the only way to clear that problem is to obviously remove the tip and replace it. Again, wearing your safety glasses, you want to remove the tip. But at this point, I'm not sure if my problem is in my draw tube or in my tip or in both. And so to have a confidence that I'm going to dispense product appropriately, I'm going to follow the steps we previously followed by taking the can, shaking it for a good solid two minutes, putting on the green clear out tip with the large orifice, shaking the can some more, putting that can in a hot bath of tap water, 100 degrees to 120 degrees for just a couple of minutes and then following the steps to clear out and get a clean stream of spray through this green tip then shaking the can again inverting the can to use the gases to clear out the draw tube and make this green tip clean so that I can use it for the next time and then I'm going to have product ready to dispense I'll simply remove the green tip get a new clean black tip and put that black tip with the red insert on the can and I'm ready to begin my project. Again, remembering that the first spray from this can is in fact going to be mostly gas and solvent. So what you'll want to do is spray that out on a piece of cardboard before spraying your pipe or stove. Sometimes the can will clog or spit. And so with the Stove Bright cans, we want to give you a way to solve that problem. What I'm going to demonstrate now is how this works. Be sure to wear your safety glasses before handling any of the aerosol products. The product has the regular tip on it and sometimes that tip won't spray at all and sometimes it'll spit and you can see it's spitting here. You don't want that to happen. So the easiest way to clear that spitting or clogged action is to actually do the process where we've described it in our instructions and the first thing I would do is go ahead and remove the existing tip, replace it with a clear out tip, the large green nozzle and the, the, it's nice to keep that pointed away for, as you put the tip in the 
the valve. So I've got that inserted now. I'm going to make sure I've shaken the can thoroughly to mix up the product. I'm also going to maybe take that hint of getting the product a little bit warmer by putting it under hot tap water. Once I've done that, I'm going to have product that I can then spray and the clear out tip will allow more product to come out. And it, once it sprays like that, you know you've cleared that draw tube. And now what I want to do is shake it some more turn the can upside down and spray until only clear comes out. When the clear comes out, that means I have clear in the draw tube, clear in this tip that I can reuse. Just go ahead with that can, put that replacement tip on the can, again, being careful to point it away from me, and I'm going to then be able to have a product I can shake up, make sure it's a good temperature, and I'll be able to spray that product just as I normally would. Stobright has years of experience with our aerosol products, and we've learned to help our customers both consumers and professional installation folks with using the product and overcoming those nagging problems that will stop a project from being completed. The replacement tips and clear out tips are one of the ways that we provide that service and the replacement tips and clear out tips are available free to you just on demand. You can either call us at 1-800-537-7201 or you can go to our website and contact us through our website paid contact page. In addition to the information we covered today regarding a can that won't spray, the Stobrite User Guide is a complete document that will help you with every step from surface prep to application to curing the paint to get the result and finish that you want from Stobrite.